700 federal agents, 120 reputed rival gang members. Bronx, New York, it's believed to be the largest gang takedown in New York City history. It's a link in my bio, click it. I'm going for every minute. It has been two and a half days since anyone has heard anything about two-year-old Amari Nicholson. Panic mode, freaking out, crying, screaming, just my baby's gone. Amari's mother, Taylor Nicholson, says she got the news her son was missing on Wednesday while she was in Colorado taking care of her mother who was attacked by a dog. She left Amari with her boyfriend, who considers Amari his son, at the Emerald Suites near the Strip. Now, he says Wednesday, just after 6 a.m., someone knocked on the door. And it was a woman saying that she was her baby daddy's sister. Mm -hmm. And she said she was there to pick up my stepson. Terrell Rhodes says she called Amari's mom in Colorado. I turned around to call her to tell her if if this is, is are this true, is was this really prearranged? And as I'm doing that, she says she don't need anything for my stepson. They got everything they need for him and basically just took off. Nicholson says she missed Rhodes' call. No, I was still asleep, so my phone, I, I didn't hear the first few calls until it was already too late. Now, this is where things get a little confusing. The mother tells me she and Rhodes got into an argument about her being away from Vegas and told him someone would be stopping by, but didn't say exactly who and didn't say why they were coming over. But you didn't know her, though, correct? You've never seen her? So you didn't, did you not know this person you're letting take Amari away? I mean, from my knowledge, I already, um, I was told like someone was going to stop by, somebody was going to, but I never knew who. So I still had that in my head that somebody was coming by. But bottom line, Nicholson says she never gave anyone permission to come and pick up Amari. She says Rhodes did not give Amari to the woman. She took him and just wants him back safe. In this whole story, it sounds confusing. It sounds like we're lying. It sounds like, you know, it's it's a whole, it's, it's just a big, Confusion. Amari's aunt from his father's side speaks. We don't know anything about the last couple of days that Amari was seen. And the mother is not helping us at all. And we're trying to work with the police, but because of this false narrative, the police aren't really able to help either. Because there's no search, there's no Amber Alert. So you mean to tell me you just handed a two-year-old off to someone that you've never seen before in life? And then it's like, you're not helping us. She hasn't reached out to us once. Don't say that we have him when we're doing everything we can to find him. We are the ones that have been reaching out to news outlets. We are the ones that are offering a reward for Amari. We are trying to do everything we can. Please, anything will help us at this point. We are desperate. We have nothing to go by. We don't even know what he was wearing when he went missing. The father of Amari Nicholson speaks very briefly. I don't know where he is and she don't know. And the police don't know. So he's kidnapped. He's gone. Where is two-year-old Amari Nicholson? What do you think happened? Is Amari Nicholson's mother covering up for her boyfriend? That's a big tattoo on her neck of his name. I'm just saying. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't already. And hit the like button. Only if you like my content. Thank you for watching Slim Hoffa True Crime Time.